Unfortunately, most of us won't get a good sleep. But how do we get a better sleep? This experience can be used to build up ourselves or can be used to make ourselves even worse. But did our bodhisattva give up on his goal? No. Daya, you have now come to the world news and the Buddha's great message session where we read the news that's happened around the world and what lessons we can learn from these news according to the Supreme Buddha's teachings. My name is Thir and today I am here with Taborda. When was the last time you had a good sleep and after you woke up you felt so good? Unfortunately, most of us won't get a good sleep. Today, we are going to discuss how we are going to wake up without being tired. Remember, the quality of your sleep depends on how you sleep. But how do we get a better sleep? Our great teacher said that if someone spreads loving kindness throughout his life, he sleeps better. It is so important to maintain a kind, calm and peaceful mind to have a better sleep. Scientists in Canada have launched what is set to become the world's largest study of the effects of lack of sleep on the brain. Sylvie said that she was scanned twice, after a normal night's sleep and then after the sleep deprived night. The functional MRI scanner is able to detect blood flow in the brain so the areas that are working hardest show increased levels of activity shown as orange coloured blobs. Our sleep highly affects several things such as what you do during the day, your sleeping posture, what you do after waking up. For example, during the day, if you get angry with your friends, being jealous about others, sad, frustrated, then your mentality is not in a good condition. Then, when you go to bed, you will never have a better sleep because your mind and body are not ready for that. That is why I told you earlier that it is so important to have a kind, calm and peaceful mind to have a better sleep. Of course, we cannot control situations that we face during the day. People criticise us, yelling at us, complaining about us. We cannot control these things, but we can control our responses to them. Then, at the end of the day, when you go to bed, you go with a calm, peaceful mind. Then your sleep quality will be increased. Namo Buddhaya. My name is Subodha. Failure is a common experience that we all have faced in our lives. This experience can be used to build up ourselves or can be used to make ourselves even worse. So it depends on how we perceive it. But remember, successful people use failures to build themselves up. Successful people become more and more motivated when they face failure. Failure teaches us to learn from our mistakes so that next time we can avoid making the same ones. Now, let's watch the news. Love is letting go, wrote 17 year old Noah Potowen in a note to her Instagram followers. A few days later, she was dead. Her sister Isa shared the news with her followers. Sunday, 2nd June at 2.40, Noah passed away. Sleep well, sweetheart. We will have to let go of you. When we face these types of problems, we think this experience is going to last forever. But in reality, it is not. The most successful people have failed at least once. So, this is a common experience. When our bodhisattva gave up their rigorous mortification practices, the five ascetics left our bodhisattva in the forest and moved on. But did our bodhisattva give up on his goal? No. Our bodhisattva took it as a blessing into his life and continued to meditate. Our bodhisattva did not get angry towards the five ascetics. If bodhisattvas, supreme buddhas, and arahants, who were endowed with great glory, supernormal powers, and wisdom, had to face these kinds of problems, what could be said of us? Therefore, it does not matter whether we failed or not. Do the best that we can do. Do not get angry at others or point fingers at them. We should look at the lives of our great teacher. 
and great our hearts and to constantly develop ourselves. We will see you all next week. Teruwa Saranai Namo Buddhaya.